Hi everybody, I've got a 30 minute soul journey session. I'm gonna read these goals here and then I'm gonna be getting connected with the client. Okay, so these are the goals. All right, my goals are to get to know me more. Am I on the right path? Am I psychic? And should I pursue that path of service to others? What are things causing a blockage to my highest path? What is my own and what is a manipulation? Attachments, programming. Unfulfilled emotional, physical desires. Unfulfilled romantic, sexual connections. Should I just give up on finding it? Are they a trap from my ego? I want to heal my shaking. Is that available for me? Hmm. There's some really, really good requests here. Give me a moment. I'm just pulling in all of this information. So let's start at the top here. Am I on the right path? Am I psychic? Should I pursue that path? Let's start there and blockages to your highest path. And we'll see where we wind up, okay? All right. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I'm kind of on the side of a wall and I'm climbing the wall. I mean, it's like Rapunzel's hair in a way, but it feels like I'm in between two worlds. And this is a castle wall. I mean, and the and the bricks are not like stone. It's like uh, made out of bronze. And there's a appeal here. There's like a masculine type knight that is climbing up this feminine long hair. This is getting a little bit trickier. Um, it's getting denser, energetically denser, harder. It wants to be an easy achievement, like a fairy tale, like um, I could climb Rapunzel's hair, bam, there I am, get Rapunzel, get out of there. But it's not that easy. <laughs> it's not just that easy. Because how do you think Rapunzel feels having you climb up her hair? Um, there's just like these reality checks that, that the fairy tale doesn't work with. It works with uh, illusionary information um, in order to make things kind of sugar-coated and delightful when reality is actually quite hard. Reality is harder than that. And I see your mind trying to figure out what is the fairy tale and what is the reality. But you're okay with reality. You actually show me that you understand that you could want it this way. You could want it to be simpler. But you understand that it's not always so simple. Life isn't always so simple. You actually are okay. Like you're you're sharing that with me. Um, boy, it's getting super dense in here, and that energetic density is coming from the back, like the back of the neck and then the head, and it whooshes right on over the top, and it's just, man, it's like super dense, and it's sort of muffling up the ears here. All right, there's some energetic sensitivity happening, and um, it's kind of neat, though, because as there's just like, it's just like um, discomfort, okay? It's just like kind of discomfort because as I go through these images, I'm showing your consciousness and subconscious and all these parts of you what I'm seeing and they get it. Like they know what this is about. And sometimes they need, they need somebody else to come in to show them what they're having a hard time seeing so they can alter their frequencies and their harmonies. Um, so as I'm showing this, there's a little bit of stress, just a little mild stress, but something neat. Um, like an emerald diamond that is uh, just sort of levitating right here above the head. It's really pretty. I will say I love the colors in your journey. Um, I mean, there's something about the bronze bricks, the blonde hair, which is like white blonde, like it's very specific. This metallic armor, um, the, this very, very specific colors, like really specific. Um, this green emerald. Um, 
I see colors, but I mean, it's like you really, really care about the specific colors. Now, there's a bit of a disconnect here between, it's like almost like a numbness. So we see this pretty green emerald, but it seems detached from how you, you're actually working with it. It's like it exists, but then it also doesn't exist. So what really does exist? This is not easy. Um, whatever the, this, obviously when we're looking at a green emerald um, like levitating above the head, it can ha have something to do with the crown, the third eye, mental body regions, okay? Higher wisdom type stuff, channeling, um, that sort of thing. But it feels disconnected. It feels like um, you're not really working with this pretty emerald. It, it's there, but it's not, you know? <laughs> if you can't work with it, then it might as well not be there, but yet it's there. So. This is kind of what I'm seeing right now. Okay, this is another challenge. And this again comes back to fairy tale versus reality. This is what I feel would be holding you back from being psychic, evaluating too much, trying to decide what was real or what wasn't real there. And some of the first things, I, I know this may sound crazy, but when you're learning how to develop psychic ability, you have to trust in everything you get. Everything you get matters. So you just share everything you're picking up on, everything you're thinking or feeling, you just share it. Um, and you just allow it to be what it is because there's no such thing as coincidence. But if you start to evaluate the information, now you're just judging it as a human being. A human being does not know how to judge with something beyond being human. Like you just allow the information to flow and you just express whatever comes. Like all I can do is say what I'm picking up on here and then you decide what it means to you, right? So that's how I do this. And that's how I teach other people how to do this. Um, just go with it. You know what? If it's a fairy tale, it, it's meant to be a fairy tale. If it's, if it's reality, it's meant to be reality. But if it's also confused between fairy tale and reality, then it's meant to be confused between. So, so when I'm feeling out all of these different pieces of information, it helps me to understand a bigger picture, which is also frequencies. Like I can hear harmony or disharmony, fear, um, struggle. I can hear those frequencies intermingling with everything I'm talking about. So I can hear how you're reacting to this different images that are coming and you are kind of blocking yourself here because it's almost like you're create casting a shadow that like you're I, okay I see a version of you standing here and that version acknowledges this emerald and that version acknowledges you but for some reason you get smaller and this version gets like taller and stronger and it's a bit intimidating or it's it's okay it's supposed to be like that but you're you're like automatically getting smaller instead of saying nah i got this i totally got this so there's nothing that is influencing you in a way that would um make you feel smaller. So there's lack of confidence inside yourself. Because you could easily be intimidated, you could be easily, um, you're not able to stand your ground against yourself. That means there's uh, confidence issues, doubt. And it, again with the beautiful colors. So you're like a golden, it's like a bronzish gold color. Um, and so is the part of you that's sort of intimidating this other part that's getting smaller. You're both very specifically the same color and it's like a golden but it's not. It's got like some brownish or reddish type brassy like um, hues to it. I will say there's quite a lot of density here and I'm trying to figure out how to lift it and I'm trying to figure out how it got here too. Because something is like an alarm clock needs to go off and um, to really shake, rattle, and roll your system to really wake you up. It's like um, having a pleasant dream and then suddenly the ice water just pours upon your face. You're like, whoa! You know, you're like awake now. <clears throat> Thank you.
So this kind of density is a little bit, um, it's like a heavy blanket. It's not terrible. I mean, it's okay, but you're going to get lost in it. And it's going to get foggy and fuzzy. And you're going to kind of be like um, not articulately choosing. I choose this. This is what is happening. There's no coincidence, you know. But it's just sort of like, oh, you're bigger than me. Okay. <laughs> You know, I was like, wow, that was quick. Um, so the, this is a bit fuzzy. Like, it needs to be, I'm awake. I got this. I know what's up. You know, it's, it's some something has to change here to wake you up, to really wake you up. You just, it's like you, you're sleepy. Still working on it. Still figuring it out. I'm just telling my spirit guides, okay, show me the next thing. Hmm, they're uh, creating a complication. It's deciding whether you will show yourself the next thing or if you will just allow spirit. So here I had to make a decision because I myself am analyzing everything that I'm coming across and I'm deciding that well I could continue to work with this and go check out this green emerald some more or I could just say you know what I'm just gonna let my spirit guides to decide um, and just let them guide me so again I'm having to make decisions here um, so I make a decision and then I just see what happens next so there's something about having to go with it like you have to just keep trusting your gut on things you don't always know what to do. Like, I don't always know. Like, once I hear everything out, it's like, okay, I'm putting two and two and all this stuff together, but there's just too many, um, there's not enough clues to help me piece together the bigger picture. So either I can continue to try it out, making sense by going um, into different places, or just let this be, ask my spirit guides. So you see, I have to, um, it's, not, it's like, I have to allow things to happen too. Like I have to make decisions and then see what comes from those decisions. But I can't just go back and forth like, eh, eh, maybe I should, you know, it's got to be like specific. Yes, no, what's next? Um, it's got to be very specific. There's a reason why I'm telling you this. So like th th this is about psychic ability and developing psychic ability. And there's one thing that's very important if you're going to be successful at this is intention and, and the power of yes or the power of no, the power of standing your ground, it's a totally different universe when you're um, working in the spirit realm. Like like here I'm in the human world, I could say no to somebody and they'd be like, yeah, whatever, <laughs> I'll do whatever I want. But if you say no in the spirit realm, it's different. They actually have to honor your energies. Like your energies create whatever it is you want it to create. So you have the power and then everything else revolves around whatever it is that you're expressing is totally different so if you're wanting to gather information you just specifically state you know what you're trying to access sometimes you're not really going to be sure what it is so you just do the best you can and then just see what comes there's, there's a reason why i'm talking about being very specific <sighs> okay this again is going back to the fairy tale versus the illusion. This is a real, this is creating a massive block for you. We're going to go back to the original scene here with this knight climbing up this hair. And I'm just going to have you watch. And I'm just having this knight climbing up this hair. And the, your consciousness says it's going to rip her hair out. It's going to rip her hair out. He can't climb up her hair. It will rip her hair out of her head. It will hurt her. And I just continue to let this happen. And I, and I say, but let's just let this be a fairy tale. Let's just let this be a fairy tale. Is that okay for it to just be a fairy tale? Oh, you 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 have a, a sensitivity about this. You re you prefer reality and not illusion. 
but to a point that you're almost rejecting just the creative fantasy world which is also important for being human because we're also children even when we're adults so we need some fantasy you want to know it's like kind of like I want to know the truth I want to know I want to know I got to clear that from your mind because wanting to know is control. All right. So um, I want to know. I want to know, you know, but there's some sort of level of control here because if you don't find out what the answer is, like you're going to keep looking, you're going to keep looking. But sometimes the answer is exactly what you get, even if it doesn't make a lot of sense. It's just meant to be what it is. Right. So you can't control the answer or how the answer presents itself to you. Um, because now your mind is already deciding the way that answer has to be presented in order for it to be correct. But how will you ever know? How will you ever know if that was actually the correct answer? Because you're already having an idea of how that answer has to be in order for it to be an answer, in order for it to satisfy whatever this need is when it comes to I want, an, I want answers, I want real answers. That's why I always work with wisdom because they never tell me anything really like they don't they they give me what i need and as best as i can understand and that's what i get and i'm at peace with that like i if i wanted to ask them okay what was happening in africa a million years ago um in you know nigeria or something um you know i could ask them this question and what am I going to get? I'm just going to get different colored images, maybe a garden, you know, it could be like whatever it wants to be. But is that the answer? Is that exactly the answer? Well, it is an answer and I'm okay with that answer. I'll work with that answer. So there's something here. Um, there's a little bit of a frequency that's kind of like extreme. It's an extremist here when it comes to wanting an answer. It doesn't mean all of you is like this, but this one is quite loud about it. And that's going to make it hard for you to access your true psychic gifts. Because the answer isn't always like, you know, there was an alien spaceship here on this specific date, and these beings that look just like this um, appeared right next to this big tree on this specific location. Like, <laughs> it's like never like that. It's just like... Um, it's all about wisdom and what, like, in the end, what does it all mean to me? <sighs> yeah, this is, like, really clearing. There's, like, a hurt going on here. Because as I'm talking about this, just sharing my personal relationship with answers, <laughs> um, and I'm at peace with it, I just let it be, you know? Um, there's a little bit of a, um, this is relaxing, this, like, need for an answer, I want an answer, is relaxing, but there's something else going on in the emotional gut region related to this. It, it is relaxing, but there's something else. <sighs> kind of like, um, you ever try so hard only to have to stop trying, and then like a year later, you pick up where you left off and now you get it, um, but that's a little bit annoying. It's like you're doing everything right, but yet you don't realize what you're missing. I mean, it feels like something is like um, quite certain it's on the path. And now it's like, oh, well, maybe I wasn't seeing things correctly and I was too wound up in what I thought that path was. And now I'm realizing that that I can't just decide what the path has to look like or what the path has to be like in order for that path to be correct or to be the answer. You just have to go with the flow, really. I mean, you're saying this, you're having this realization. But there's a bit of an exhaustion to it, like, um, again. So I, I again, like, um, you've been down this road before. And we're talking about the spiritual journey. Your heart's opening up. Just talking about this, like just socializing about this, your heart is already starting to open up more. 
I mean, you, you like we're taking off some of these layers. We're taking off it, like taking coats off. And you're starting to relax and be um, more peaceful about the process of the spiritual journey or the psychic um, experiences, which is actually giving you access to the emerald. But you also don't believe that emerald is there in a way. And the part of you that says that is again, it's like a pure golden color. Nothing else mixed into it, golden color. Doesn't believe the emerald is really there. Man, you got a lot of lot going on here when it comes to <laughs> I want an answer, fairy tale versus reality. Um well, I don't believe that that green emerald is there. So why are you, again, doubting? <laughs> why can't there be a green emerald there? Why can't there be a giant elephant there? Like, why can't there be? <laughs> Seriously, though. In the energy realm, again, any, ev anything and everything exists. So if you want a giant elephant above your head, you can do that. There. It's already done, you know? You just, you can go into the energy realm and you can do whatever you want and everything is real. Everything exists. It just depends on how you're becoming energetically intertwined with what you are creating. So if you're just doing it for fun, that elephant is, is not going to have a lot of intertwining um, connections and alterations to your entire entirety, okay? Um, if you're just doing it for fun. But if you're serious about it, like, in order for me to have, like, an expanded crown, I want to work with elephant energy. You know, the elephant never forgets. You know, the, these positive um, qualities about the elephant, I want to have more connection with that, and I want more of that energy tuned into my um, crown. And I want to be pulling in more of that type of energy. Um, now, is it really just a silly big elephant right above your head, or is there a deep meaning to it? Is there actual frequencies vibrations, emotions, um, depth to it, you see? And so there's a reality to literally everything. You just got to find the depth and the meaning of it. And everything exists, okay? Everything does exist. Hmm. I'm trying to get you to acknowledge this green emerald. It's like you... This part of you, okay, so it seems shifting a little bit, just a little bit, but again, you're in gold, but you have a very um, brown, you have brown skin and really dark brown hair. This is not Egyptian. This is like um, some sort of tribal, but it's like more South American or something. It, you have a crown that has feathers on it. It's really pretty. It has a jewel here. It's like kind of interwoven. I don't know if these are painted sticks or something. I'm not sure. It's really pretty though. It's very earthy looking. Um, but it comes all the way around in this sort of like this golden shine to your dress. But it's like looking more natural, more earthy. Like these feathers came from like flamingo or something like But they're like a purplish color. And this jewel right here. And I'm not sure why this persona of you keeps looking at the emerald and saying that it is not there. This is going to be hard. This, there's a reason why. Uh, and the more that I have her look at it and acknowledge that it is there, sh there's some weird frequency that's trying to dissolve that. Like it's like acidic, burning, melting kind of like um, it's harming her in a way but she doesn't even feel it harming her she just keeps saying it's not there I say it then just close your eyes and then say it's there it doesn't matter whether you see it there or you do not see it there just acknowledge it and see what happens it's fun to just try see what happens see what it means to you She says that she wants to use her eyes to see. And I say, okay. But are your eyes revealing true sight? Are they just revealing what you want to see? Or what your belief systems are allowing you to see? 
So are your eyes actually helping you or are they hindering you? Is sight actually helping you? She is, she's super, you're a super good listener. <laughs> she's like super, she's so responding to this and she is getting it. She understands what I'm saying right away. She says then, I don't know how to believe something is there when I cannot see that it is there. And I feel strongly then that if I were to see it, then it, it would be real. I say, well, how do we know that you're even real? She uh, touches the feathers. I can feel each one of these feathers. I can even hear the little flicks of the feathers as she r kind of runs her hands through them. I can see her. she has like chocolate brown eyes. She's so pretty. She's just like a natural beauty. Hmm. Spirit Realm shows me something new now and it's almost like she's kind of talking to herself inside of a contained space as though I was just a figment of her imagination trying to show her something but she wasn't getting it almost like um, taking on the role of being a spirit guide and trying to give you hints or um, information but it's just you're still not picking up you're still not getting it so that that's another thing that comes through here Um, I keep hearing that something like, I hate to burst your bubble. I keep hearing that and then they, they poke that and then it pops. And your bubble needs to be bursted <laughs> in order for you to expand in this way. It, it feels like there's quite a lot of, um, I mean, there's still just a lot of energy here that needs to be broken down. So you can really access what you're capable of. You're overthinking things too. Okay. There's something about not... So I see her now bubble has bursted. Um, she's in that contained space, but she, she sort of falls and um, is lying on the ground. And I keep, it's like some sort of dream state. And she says, um, I want there to be a green emerald, but I don't feel that I'm worthy of it or that I am um, like that I could ever have that. So there's something too of knowing what your worth and value is. These are different. Um, these are different areas to to work on. Confidence. Don't doubt yourself. Be very specific with what you want, knowing that you are worth it. Don't overthink things. I know that's just a lot of stuff coming out here that it's going to give you a lot to think about, right? And then don't overthink it. <laughs> All right, my stomach is starting to ache here. There's something with the solar plexus right now and my throat feels a little pukey. And I feel just kind of tired in my mind. I'm just going through all the requests because a lot of them are related to your pathway. I'm curious about psychic ability or, or if that would be a good pathway for you or anything that's blocking your you know, greatest, highest potential. Um, man anything that's manipulating you or blocking. 
that sort of thing. I know relationships came up and also shaking. So I'm just literally just sending out information to ask them um, how can we come full circle with this message and maybe explore some of these other ones, these other avenues. And um, the one thing that's still kind of lingering within myself is um, the value and the importance of helping you to see how what you are capable of. Because this journey is really showing the challenges that you are facing, but I don't believe that there's any challenge that you can't overcome, that you can actually access what it is you want to experience. So in saying that, then why would you say, you know, can I be psychic or would that be my pathway? You should be saying, I'm choosing a, a pathway of becoming psychic and working with psychic ability and actually helping people with psychic ability. You see the difference? between can I be psychic now I give you permission to be psychic right um, or giving yourself permission and saying I I'm wanting to work on my psychic skills I know I've got these I know I got some things to work on with it we all do I still have stuff to work on with it right we're going to be working on things for the rest of our lives so giving yourself permission to be psychic is totally different feeling to it and once you do that it starts to open you up naturally because you're making a specific choice, you're stating what it is that you want, and you're not going outside of yourself, you're believing in what you are capable of. Confidence, not doubting yourself. And giving yourself permission to have something special in your life. That emerald is symbolic of many things, and that could be potentially a decent relationship, like a relationship that is as beautiful and as dazzling as an emerald. So giving yourself permission to have beautiful things in your life. So there is some sort of program in here that is um, like you can't have something that is beautiful. I, I'm not, I don't know the cor correct words, but it's like this, okay? Which also then is like, well, you can't have then psychic ability. You can't have, but yes, you can. You can have it all. You literally can have it all. Just alter your language a little bit. Give it all back to you. Give yourself the permission. Believe in yourself. Know that it is there and it is accessible. <sighs> yeah, there's something really powerful to you kind of turning it all inside out. This, so you had mentioned the shaking and so again, let's use the same technique. Um, is it so? Is it possible to heal this shaking? Right? Um, why not say I want to find a way to um, understand what the shaking is about and to nurture it, to love it, to accept it if it's meant to stay, or to transform it um, into something new. I'm okay with it, but I'm ready to grow here. I'm ready to discover more here. Um, so now you're opening doors. You see, you're opening doors to the possibilities of what you can have access to. And you're giving yourself permission, okay? You're giving yourself permission to heal. You're giving yourself permission to grow. You're giving yourself permission to have beautiful things, to have this emerald, um, to have the fairy tale and enjoy it, and to also have reality and to accept it and to enjoy reality too. To have it all, right? There's no such thing as coincidences. Yeah, your heart is, you You really needed some positive, you really needed some really positive, like, self-talk. Like, some real love, some real nurture. Someone who sees the beauty that you are. And to open that beautiful heart up of yours, you see? Because um, it's already starting to circulate in a way that is like, okay, and maybe I, maybe I can receive now. Because I can give myself permission to. It's just opening things up and allowing that density to just not even exist anymore. It's neat. Mm. And just so you know, that emerald is a real thing. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's energy, all right? 
It's beautiful, dazzling, infinite energy. And you can have that energy, okay? I'm sending energy frequencies here to different parts of you and saying, you can have that. You can have that beautiful emerald energy. You can have that. You can even see yourself as beautiful as that. You can open up to a beautiful relationship that's as beautiful as that. And your psychic gifts, yes, they are just as beautiful as that too. It's like you have all these parts that are like, oh, wow. Oh, like um, kind of shifting gears and wanting more of this, wanting more of this nurture. It's really beautiful. Huh. Okay, thank you so much. I really enjoyed connecting with you today. It was a real pleasure. <laughs> hmm. Thank you for sharing. And uh, for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, everybody, thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.